Hello and welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by today. My name is Leah and I love finding budget decor for my home. If I can't find it cheap, I'll craft it up. Today is number four in my Sunflowers and Honey Bee Decor DIY series. And it's also part of an open collab that's hosted every month by Jamie of Board R Bananas. It's called Flippin' Friday. Let's get right into flip number one. This is something that I thrifted for 50 cents a while back. I suppose you could use it as a sugar jar, but I'm going to make it into a honey jar. And all I need is a Sharpie marker to write out honey on the front of the jar. And then I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon in a sunflower pattern to that cap. I originally thought I was going to do faux honey dripping down, but I think I like this better. This will be really cute on a tiered tray. I just dovetailed the ends of that ribbon that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Dovetailed that, tied it in a knot, and then a cute little bow. And the last thing I'm going to do is add a little puffy sticker of a bee on the side. And that's it. This flip is complete. Now for flip number two. I picked up this basket at Goodwill. Originally 99 cents, I got it on half price day for 50 cents. Originally I thought I only wanted those ceramic handles since one was broken, but I decided to go ahead and repair that. First, I gave it a cleaning with some alcohol, and then I'm taking some 18 gauge wire. I'm just gonna snip off extra long piece that I know will cover the handle and a little extra on the sides. Snip that off and then run it through the handle. I had to get a curve going so I could just curve it in and that's about it. I put the end of the wire through the thick part of the basket, the top part there. Brought it up gave it a little twist and put the excess up in the handle and I did that on both sides now pulled it tight on that last one and now that handle is sturdier than the original one that I didn't fix yeah that's not going anywhere now I'm going to use this premium spray enamel in brown and I'm going to take it outside to do that and give it a good coat. But first I'm going to tape up the handles and I just use small pieces of paper tape. Some people call it freezer tape. Some people call it masking tape. I've always called it paper tape. Anyway, I taped off the handles completely and then took it outside for a spray. And look at it now. I love this dark brown color on the basket. So much better than the natural color that it originally was. It really makes those handles pop. Now moving into flip number three. I thrifted this ginger jar many years ago for a dollar. And it's been packed up for several years and I thought why not bring it out and put it to use. I've been wanting a large bee, bee skeet beehive and so I decided to turn the ginger jar into that. I'm giving it a coat of paint just in case any of the rope that I wrap around it has any gaps and I'm using nautical rope from Dollar Tree and the top will essentially become the bottom 
because that's where the fatness is. I want that fatness on the bottom. So I'm just starting with my hot glue gun and gluing spots around and wrapping the nautical rope around. And you're not only gluing to the jar, but also to the rope above it. See how I'm sweeping the hot glue into place? I just dab it here and there, and then I'm kind of going up with a sweeping motion and gluing the rope to rope and rope to vase at the same time. Now once I got all the way up to the top, which used to be the bottom, I've got five ropes on there so far. I'm going to take the original cap and glue it on the bottom. That way I've got a little better transition. It won't be flat on top. And I just continue with the rope. Here I'm showing that I'm gluing mostly rope to rope to begin with because I don't want to have such a dip in the way the rope looks. I'm not sure if that's coming across the way I'm trying to get it across to you, but you'll see what I'm doing. Yes, my camera cut off without me knowing it, but I just made a loop on the top when I got finished with the rope. And I put a little circle on the front for the opening of the beehive, or bee skeet, bee skip. And I'm going to paint in that with some black acrylic paint from Apple Barrel. And then I'm going to have some fun with florals. I'm going to decorate this up. I chose a large sunflower. And this is a bunch that I picked up from Dollar General. They're a little bit bigger than the ones that Dollar Tree have. And a brighter, sunnier color as well. I just glued that large sunflower at the top, right over the opening. And then I took some of these daisies and put them down the side. And I decided to add a little bit of lavender in there because purple and yellow were opposite on the color wheel so supposedly they go well together I like it anyway whether they're supposed to go together or not I like it and then I just added a couple of little bees by that opening it's looking great but I want to do one more thing I put some glue on the front of the opening and I let it run down a piece of a skewer so it looked like, um, well, like it's pooling at the bottom. If I didn't put the skewer in there, it was just pooling up on the table. Okay. Yeah. Now with some apple barrel paint in Golden Sunset, I painted it and then put a little bit of brushed metal gold on top of it. And there you go. It looks like it's stuck to the table, but ta-da, it's not. I can move this anywhere in the house I want. And it's always going to look like honey is pouring out of that. Here's a final look of all three of today's projects. Remember to check out the playlist and Jamie's channel. Links for both are in the descriptions below. Thank you for watching today's video, and if you like it, 
Remember to leave me a thumbs up so I know you do. Until next time, bye-bye.